Hey, this is Brian Stillman with Be Terrific, BeTerrific.com. We're at NAB 2019 in New York City at the Jacob Javits Convention Center. Um, we are just enjoying all the gear, all the cool products that are here today, talking to a lot of interesting people about the products that they make. Uh, I'm with Dan Mayall. He's the CEO of Bird Dog. They make a pretty cool camera. It's the um, P4K, right? Did I get that right? right? You got it right, yes. So it is a, uh, a camera. It's motion control, all sorts of cool stuff. Tell me about the P4K. Okay, sure. So the P4K is a PTZ camera. It's designed to be remotely controlled. Uh, the beauty of what we've done with this camera is... Uh, We've joined everything together, so we've taken uh, all of the remote control, allowed it to be uh, powered by power over Ethernet, so you have one cable that controls it. But really the important thing with this camera is it's NDI. Yeah. So NDI is a format that's been developed by NewTek, which is available in hundreds of applications and various different hardware devices. And this is the first 4K camera that uses this standard. It allows you to send video over a regular computer network rather than having to run SDI cables. So having that power over Ethernet and NDI built into one cable means that to deploy this camera anywhere, you just plug it into a, a network connection and it's available for people to use. And on the other end, you can have anyone controlling it from any computer, from any location that's part of this network. Yeah, that's right. So being a live camera, NDI is all about low latency and accessibility. So you can access this camera anywhere on your network with a frame of latency, uh, and then you can control it with software, you can control it with hardware control panels, live vision switches, uh, whatever you'd like. So it's accessible anywhere on that network it's plugged into. And how many cameras can you have tied in to the network? Yeah, so NDI is, is very scalable. So we've got our sites that use 500 sources of NDI in one location. So you can pull up a camera from various uh, rooms and things. If it's a campus-based environment, right. you might have cameras all over the place and you can just access them whenever you need to. Tell me a little bit about the camera then. So I know it's 4K, I know it uses NDI. Yep. What do you have going on inside? What sort yeah, of tech Yeah, this one involved? is a, a pretty special camera. We've only just announced it. It's brand new. It actually uses the Sony one-inch sensor on here. So it's a 4K 30 camera with a really large sensor in there. So it's great in low light, excellent dynamic range. It allows you to, to color match against any kind of production camera as well. So if you have a mixed environment with robotic cameras and regular production cameras, this thing will fit in really well. So, so if you've got your FS7, you've got your FS5, you've got your uh, uh, F55, and your P4K, that, yeah. And <laughs> that'll, that'll integrate, you'll end up yeah. with a color match uh, That's exactly production right. yep. where it's going to look good going out there. Yep. Um, now, what sort of applications do you envision this camera being used for? Yeah, so there's a bunch of different places it can be used. I think probably the, uh, the cool thing with NDI is yes. it does lend itself to live production or live environment. So it could be used in a newsroom, for example. It could be used, as I mentioned, in a, um, in a college-type environment, right. if there's sort of lecture theatres and things. It can be used for, uh, for uh, installations, for museum things, for example, where you might want to take a camera and point it at different uh, installations and right. you can interact with that. So it can be used in very different places. Sports, even, is a, is a good example. That's so. your first camera. What led you? So generally, you're making um, encoders and decoders, uh, interfaces between NDI, SDI, HDMI. Um, what led you to work on a camera? Why did you want to develop this product? Yeah, it was actually a pretty logical progression. So, Bird Dog's been around since uh, NDI was was designed or when it was first announced. So this is about three years it's been uh, running for right. now. And NDI uh, struck us as being a really great format to get onto because it does take the the beauty of what you have with an SDI type workflow. It's very low latency and very high quality but then just harnesses the power of a network and the flexibility. So when we started making our video converters, uh, we learned a lot about video processing, and it sort of led us on to, well, cameras are the next thing, because a lot of cameras, you, know, you then have to have a box on top to convert, it becomes quite um, uh, unwieldy in some right, places. Right. To have a, a camera that's just got everything built into it with one cable really makes a lot of sense. So. What kind of learning curve was there for you going into the camera manufacturing business? Yeah. I mean, I remember, uh, other companies that happen to be known for their sort of post-production workflow devices yep. going into the camera industry. There were some hiccups in the beginning, a little bit of weird little things as they learn this technology. Yeah, yeah. For you, what was the, the process like? What was the learning curve like? Yeah, so there's really two parts to our uh, to getting to the point where we are now. This is actually our first 4K camera, but we actually have a range of four other cameras in oh, HD you do? as well. Oh, okay. yeah. so, so those HD cameras, we have all weather ones, so they can be mounted outdoors to 24-7 you know, okay. operation. 
but our, the way we've approached going into cameras is we don't want to reinvent cameras. This is why we use a Sony, Sony image module. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of things that you can do. We could make a whole camera ourselves, but yeah, some people you know, know how to make those things. So what we've yeah. done is taken the best of what a Sony image module can do, and then we've put in there the power of our NDI processing. And you know, to further supplement that, we actually have partnered with a, uh, with a camera manufacturer. So whilst these are called bird dog cameras, if you look at the side of them, there's Bolin on the sides. So oh, Bolin okay. have been actually manufacturing remotely controllable cameras for the last 15 years. Right. So we've, we've joined forces with that as far as the co-development. We've taken our understanding of IP video and encoding and yeah. image processing with their ability to make you know, a weatherproof camera and you know, these remotely controllable cameras. Combine that with Sony that can make the best image modules in the industry, uh, you know, we've come together to make a really great product. So. Now you said this is the first NDI 4K camera. Yes, that's um, right. Why are we, why? How why? does that end up being the first? Why is that not something that we've seen already? Yeah. Um, and what were some of the technical challenges that you had to overcome to, to get us to this point? Yeah, so uh, Bird Dog uh, came out of, as I mentioned, when NDI was first announced. We've right. spent all of our R&D over the last you know, four and, uh, three and four years developing a chip that does hardware-based video encoding. So okay. that's how we do right. it really fast and really high quality. Right. So we've got a lot of technology we've built up over the last three years, which uh, puts into this camera what other people don't have yet. Um, right. Because you know, we built that up. So the right, reason the why we're first is, that's already there. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Um, so it was a logical progression for us, but it means that we are you know, very much ahead of, of where the industry is at the moment on this NDI format. And the fact that you know, over a regular gigabit network, which every building these days yeah. is wired for, yeah. we can send ultra high quality 4K images. Uh, yeah, it's really exciting. So. That's very cool. What were some of the challenges that you faced when you first started developing this camera? Yeah, so I think well, first developing the technology, the challenges are with any new company is uh, the idea is easy. The right. implementation can be right. a lot harder. So we spent a lot of time you know, building and relearning and building again, making this technology as stable and as high quality as possible. And then supplementing that into a camera, there's a lot of challenges. This is a really compact device. So there's yeah. a lot of processing going on there. You've got to make sure things don't get too hot, they're reliable. Right. These things that we mounted on the roof of an exhibition building, so people don't can't get there and press a reset button. They've got to be reliable and right. uh, things like that for 24-7 operation yeah. for yeah, in extreme environments it needs to be it's reliable. weather sealed so. and all that. And this particular one isn't weather sealed but it's uh, with some of our other ones they are. Okay. Uh, and that that's really the challenge is making something that's compact, reliable, yeah. can handle extreme environments um, and you know, the people can use day in day out. So, yeah. How much does a unit like this retail for? This one retails at $79.95 so just under $8,000 okay. but that's uh, a Sony one inch sensor. Um, right. We have the models of cameras they start at one $1,495. Okay. So they start at $1,500 for the HD range and then scale up in between there and the 7, 7995 for this guy. So. so if people want to find out more about the uh, Bird Dog, the new 4K camera, where can they go look? Uh, best place is our website. So it's bird dog.tv. And I've, I've got to ask Bird Dog, where's the name come from? <laughs> well, and I know what a bird dog is, yeah. but, but how does that apply to tech? Two things. One is sure. you won't forget it, so it's, um, that's one of the reasons Fair we wanted enough. the name. But also, uh, our kind of concept is a bird dog helps you, you, know, you, you if you're hunting, it helps you receive things. So right. with video, we send and receive. You know, it's kind of like your side sidekick for, for video production. But our footage doesn't come back covered in drool. Well, that's true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, anyway. Well, so, yeah. There's been a few shoots. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. Well, I'm Brian Stillman. I'm here with uh, coverage of NAB for Be Terrific, BeTerrific.com. Stick with us. We've got uh, more coming to you throughout the day. Sorry, I'm still stuck on the drool on video idea, um, which has nothing to do with Bird Dog because their video does not come through covered in drool. Um, when you have a chance, go check out beterrific.tech and the new Agility quadri Quadricep uh, LED panel that we've developed. It's Be Terrific's first product. We're very proud of it. It is uh, flexible. It is daylight uh, bright. Um, it is all weather. It is really uh, uh, something cool for your imaging needs. Beatrific.com, NAB 2019. Stick around, we'll have more coming out uh, throughout the day.